Hello, hello, it's Lance, and in between my deep dive videos, like this one on Abbey Road, we look at the latest in Beatles news. While the big videos are really for any music fan, these news videos are for the die-hard Beatles fans. And if that's you, welcome, especially if you're a new subscriber. Either way, stick around for a hint at the next big video here on the Fab Four Archivist channel. First up, the most recent big news is Paul McCartney's interview with Robert Levine of Billboard. It's not your run-of-the-mill chat, and it focuses more on the music than the celebrity. I've linked to the whole thing in the description, but here are some highlights. First, Paul mentions working on the new project for the Let It Be footage, as first discussed in January of 2019. He says, quote, Something's going to come out from that footage. It won't be called Let It Be, but there will be something. Now, I don't want to overanalyze this, but based off these two sentences, I get the impression the project isn't that far along. Many expect a spring 2020 release, but no date has been officially announced. To be clear, the announcement from the Beatles 10 months ago mentioned two films. The one McCartney is referring to, an effort led by director Peter Jackson, as well as a restored version of the original Let It Be movie directed by Michael Lindsay Hogg. Also in the Billboard interview, Levine asked McCartney about the remastering process and his post-Beatles archive collection. Paul mentioned he recently listened to his song, Arrow Through Me. This track was featured on Wings' last record, Back to the Egg, which has not yet been reissued. Reading between the lines, the album may be put out soon, hopefully in a similar fashion to other recent archive releases. There are some other great bits in the interview, like the insightful look at the day-to-day -day of McCartney's NPL Communications and its ownership of the publishing rights of over 25,000 songs, many of them absolute classics. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. The second story for this episode of Beatles News is a bit of a downer. Photographer Robert Freeman has passed away. He is best known for his work with the Beatles, which helped shape their image in the first half of the 1960s. He shot five of their album covers, including Beatles for Sale and Rubber Soul, as well as the individual shots on the cover for A Hard Day's Night. Beyond that, his work was often included in album packaging, and there were studio sessions, and he photographed John Lennon for the covers of his books, In His Own Right and A Spaniard in the Works. Historically speaking, Mark Lewison notes that he interviewed Freeman extensively. We'll hear from him in Lewison's next two Beatles books that should be released sometime in the next 150 years. Freeman died in London on November 6 at the age of 82. From that sad story to some good news, CNBC published an interesting article recently on the Beatles' staying power, which tends to be a recurring theme in the videos I create. My favorite bit from the article is this info from an analyst, which aligns perfectly with the growth of the Fab Four Archivist channel. Quote, we pulled data on the amount of Google searches for Beatles over the last four years, and there's been a 48.59% spike over the last 12 months. End quote. All right, you made it this far. So here's a quick hint about my next video. That video should come out in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be one of the first to watch. All right, back to the news. Ringo Starr's new album, What's My Name, was released recently and hit spot number 127 on the Billboard 200 chart, but it performed a lot better in Europe, where it hit the top 100 in the UK and even the top 40 in Spain. Unrelated to Starr, but related to the Beatles and the charts, the new album by Jeff Lynne's ELO, From Out of Nowhere, just hit the top spot in the UK. Check it out if you haven't already listened. There's a link in the description below. Now back to Ringo. As part of the promotions for his new album and his new photo book, he's been a part of a few interviews, including a 20 minute sit down with MSNBC's Joe Scarborough. Unfortunately, there's not much new information here. Ringo's in really good form, but you can tell he's told most of these stories many times before. One bit of new news though, is the drummer says What's My Name may be his last album, but he's not done with recording entirely, keeping the door open for EPs in the future. I want to go in and do like three tracks. I think an EP is enough now. Isn't it funny how it changed? Yeah. Because Besides the MSNBC piece, Ringo was also interviewed recently by the AP, where he mentioned he's never toured with Paul because it's never come up. Without a, a world tour, have you guys discussed? Never. Uh, We've never discussed like anything like that. No. You know, mm. he's got his band, I got mine. A Ringo star and a Paul McCartney world tour. Wouldn't that be something? All right, that's it for this episode of Beatles News. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you really enjoy this channel, please check out my page on Patreon. A dollar is an excellent way to show your support. All right, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.